Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I did this face chart recreation off of a face chart that I actually saw this morning from Milk1422, and this is what the face chart looks like. I will insert a picture on screen so you can see a little bit better of a clip of it, and I'll also insert his Instagram because his face charts are so good, and I love to look at them and love to see like how other people interpret face charts and recreate them. I think that's one of the coolest things about it. You can have one face chart of makeup that's done like this, and then you can have five different people recreate it, and it'll look a little bit different every time. So I love that. I had a fun time doing this. I would love to do it again. But make sure you go and look at his Instagram because honestly, it will make you so inspired. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I recreated this face chart and got this look right here, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I went ahead and did my base and my brows and just went ahead and set my concealer and foundation and everything. And today I'm going to be recreating a face chart and I knew I wanted to do this so I was scrolling around on Instagram this morning looking for a face chart to do. And one of my favorite pages to follow for face charts is Milk1422 or 1422, I'm not exactly sure. But he posted this face chart this morning. I actually really, really like it. And this is kind of what it looks like zoomed up. So it's like really just like iridescent, kind of blue, mauve -y kind of vibe going on right here. And I did use brow gel just to make the brows a little bit more like fluffy and not so like filled in like I normally do, just to keep a little bit closer to how the brows are done in here, but I didn't do my brows exactly like how the brows are done on this photo. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. This like pink mauve color on the lid with like a white pink liner and a blue like iridescent like inner corner and then just like up here. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna get this look yet. Um, the pink mauve colors are easy but I don't know how I'm gonna get the blue iridescent color yet. But I have quite a few products in front of me to try to help me figure that out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on the eyes. I'm gonna take the new nude palette from Huda Beauty and so I'm gonna take this first shade and set my lid with it. So I'm gonna go right into the shade Tickle from the palette and start working that on my lid and in my crease. So I've had a little bit of a game plan change here. I'm just gonna pack the shade on my lid and take a brush mixed with Secret and blend out the crease. Just because I don't want that pink shade being so deep, so high, but I do still want to blend it out. So now that I'm looking closer at the photo and seeing this color on my eyes, I feel like the color on the lid in the picture is a little bit peachier. So I'm just going to take the shade Play and pat over everything I've done just to kind of dull it down a little bit. Alright, I like that better. Alright, so now I need to find something to do the blue with. I'm going to go into the James Charles palette and take this shade right here. So I'm gonna dabble into that shade next to it in the James Charles palette, just like the slightest amount, just because I'm not really getting blue from any of this. Okay, so now I'm going to take a smaller brush and those same two shades and start working them in the inner corner area. So I like how the blue in my inner corner came out more than the one on my lid, but it's whatever. So I'm going to take the white in the palette and tap that on the innermost area. So the colors could match a little bit better. I feel like the blue in the picture is definitely more like aqua and the lid color again is more peachy. But 
I'm happy with how it's coming out. So I'm going to take the shade Blue Sapphire from the Alchemist palette and pat that over all of this. Then I'm going to spray my brush and go back into that blue sapphire shade and just really pack it on the inner corner. And then I'm going to take the wet brush and the blue sapphire shade and pat it on my lid. So I am going to come back, but first I'm going to contour my face. I'm not going to make it as dark as her contour is on this but it's still gonna be pretty noticeable. Like it's definitely not gonna be a natural looking contour. I'm gonna focus it really high up. And so from when you look at me like front on, you can see like this like really high shadow over here. That's what I want. So now the bigger brush, I'm going to take these two shades from the contour kit and load them up and start going on my forehead. In the picture, the forehead has so much darkness on it. When I really want to build it up like around here, just like coming from where I made this contour originally, like up. And I am going to go blend over it, but I'm going to blend up because I don't want the contour to go any lower. So in the photo you can see the nose contour is pretty dark and so is the under lip. I'm actually gonna replicate that and just contour right here and make it really dark. And then same with the nose. And then at the tip, it's really dark too. I'm going to go with blush. I'm going to take the Patrick Star and MAC blush duo in Take Me Home. And I'm going to swirl the colors together. I'm going to make this face, which looks really strange. But it's how I'm going to get the blush like right here. And I'm going to focus the blush like really down here and close to this contour. I'm not going to bring it in as far over here as I normally do. At least with this color. I'm going to take a lighter color a little bit further in. So the blush is not as dark on the inside as it is on the outside. I'm going to take a lighter pink blush. The Milani blush in Tea Rose. And I'm going to take some of that. And I'm going to more put that underneath here. And really blend the edges out on this blush. So now it looks like there's a little bit of the same tone that's on her cheeks in the middle of her nose. So I'm just going to take a little bit right here. So for a highlight, I'm going to take that Alchemist palette again. And I'm going to take that blue sapphire shade and run it down the bridge of the nose. But I'm not going to wet the brush to do this part. And then for the tip of the nose, I'm wetting the brush so it's much more intense. And I'm going back into that shade and just putting it on the center of the nose and then I'm going to bounce it out. Same with the lip. I'm putting it on the lip with the wet brush. And I'm going to leave it that intense because when I put my lipstick on over it, it will go away. And I'm going to take the pink opal shade on a wet brush too and highlight the, I'm not sure what this area is, but highlight that. So you can see it's a little bit more pink, it's not as blue. I'm gonna take this NYX eyeliner in the shade Seashell and line my lower waterline with that. Which is just this like baby pink eyeliner. And then take that same shade I was using earlier and just kind of swipe it underneath the lower lash line. It doesn't have to be super intense. I just want it to be there. Now I'm taking a pretty stiff 
concealer brush. This one is from e.l.f. and it's a little bit stiffer than a highlighting brush but not so stiff that it won't have any give. And I'm wetting the brush and from the outside corner, I'm gonna start dragging that blue down. And I'm gonna start building it up and I find that it builds up best if you go in with it wet and then go back in with a dry layer. And then just keep building it up until you get to where you like it. So in person, it's definitely showing up more blue than it looks on camera. So I'm gonna take that blue that I used on the top lid and just kinda pat it over it, just to kinda make it look a little bit more bluer on camera. So now I'm gonna take the Dewy Set from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just spray my whole entire face before I put on mascara and lips. And the lashes for this look are pretty short. They're not like overly dramatic. They're just, you know, like the thicker, wispier, spidery lashes. That... So I'm just gonna coat my lashes in mascara and kind of just roll with that. All right, so for lips, the lips look pretty like toned down, like mauve color. So I'm gonna take the Lorac Pro Matte Lip Color in Nude Pink. So I'm going to take the Too Faced lipstick in the shade Doll Face. Alright, so I'm just trying to get like a certain like tone and I think this is the closest to what I'm thinking because I already have multiple lipsticks on my lips so I don't really want to pack on like a ton. I'm going to take a setting powder, translucent, and I'm just going to pat over my lips. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and just pat over it. And it's not gonna smear the product around, but it's definitely just gonna diffuse like my lips. All right, well, I actually had a really fun time recreating this face chart. No, it's not the most wearable makeup, but it's still really fun to do. And I had a good time doing it. So if you like these kind of videos, then definitely give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep doing them. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on your way out so you don't miss any of my other future uploads. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.